America. Oh, you had Copa fever. Bad news. You've got a double dose. Call the doctors. You've got Euro 2016 tingling. We've got a double dose. This is Rog. I'm here with Michael Davis, who's grown a beard, become incredibly handsome and very <laughs> successful as a drummer of Vampire Weekend. And very soon, Damsel the West. <laughs> Google it. You heard it first. Massive weekend, Chris Thompson. Yes. For football in the world and also here in America. Euros has kicked off the big game to get today, the massive game. England kick off Euro 2016 campaign against Russia. Not just England. You're a Spurs fan. Half your team will be taking the field. How are you feeling? I feel conflicted because generally I don't root for England via, via colonialism and all that. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of Spurs, a lot of Leicester City. I, I, I am rooting for England, surprisingly. And also, it helps that they're playing for Russia. <laughs> I, I, always find, I always find, you know, colonialism, schmelonialism, when the referee blows his whistle and football takes over. Talking about football, look at that. That's a young Chris Thompson <laughs> looking like a Eric oh. Dyer. If only you continued, we wouldn't have to worry about the US tomorrow night. Tonight in this do or die must draw. I'm trying to make it as exciting <laughs> as possible. A must draw against Paraguay. One of my top two favorite guys. Here's the situation. Let me break it down for you. The USA can win Group A if... Colombia lose to Costa Rica, which won't happen, um, or the USA beat Paraguay. The USA will still go through if they draw Paraguay and Costa Rica doesn't score six against Colombia. They will be knocked out if they lose against Paraguay. Is a it's still a little bit of a worry if you're this man. Less of a worry if you have the power of prophecy and can eat chicken wings. Spoiler alert, we're going to tell you exactly what is going to happen tomorrow night. Dig in, Chris Thompson. Mm. Mm. That tastes like some American youth. Oh, I like it. Where are you going with this? I think 2-1 uh, USA. But the American youth, spell that. Are you meaning Jermaine Jones, aged 87? <laughs> are you meaning... Clint Dempsey, a very young but sprightly 46. What are you feeling? I'm hoping that um, my man Pulisic gets on for at least, se if you give him seven minutes, he'll get a goal. Tenacious P, you heard it here first. This man doesn't want to hear it. Here's what I am thinking. I am feeling when I eat into that chicken wing, I, first of all, I feel the taste of democracy and freedom, which I always do when I taste chicken wings. But I think about this Paraguay team, an organized defensive unit. They're going to be without... Their playmaker, Oscar Romero, who was ridiculously red-carded. But it won't really hurt them because they are going to sit deep. They're not going to do the Costa Rica thing uh, of kamikaze running towards the U.S. and trying to knock them out, come at the king, uh, and then miss. They're going to sit back. They're going to dare the U.S. to come on to them. Jürgen is going to choose the same lineup as he did the last two games. The question is, do they have enough creativity? Do they have enough uh, intuition to break down that deeply organized back four with the, with the midfielders welded on top of them. And when I think about that question, I think about one man. I think about Jermaine Jones. I'm looking for my Jermaine Jones. Do you have him, Chris? Have you? I got Michael Bradley. You've got Michael. We'll take him. Oh, Jermaine <laughs> fell on the bloody floor. Jermaine, off the floor. Get up there. This is the guy that I think is going to be the key for the US tomorrow. He has a gear. He has a second gear, which he can click into when he wants, when he can enforce his will upon the opponents and find that extra level of play to absolutely obliterate all comers. I believe he will tomorrow. It's going to be 1-0 to the USA, so fear not. The game, 8 o'clock on Fox. I cannot wait to watch it. I know you'll be watching too, I Chris. will. To finish it off, you're a beautiful man. We will rise again tomorrow. Bigger day in our minds, possibly, than even the US election, but not quite as big as when Chris's band, Dams of the West, choose to release their debut album, America expects victory tomorrow we expect victory uh, with the dams of the west and we say courage <laughs>